Now that you have learnt the basics of if and else statements, you know it's time to test your knowledge. Although we've only covered the very basics, and there is still lots to learn, there is enough to test your knowledge on what you should already know. So let's get started. Okay, let's begin. What is expected inside of an if parentheses? Is it a value of true or false? A code block? Or an expression that evaluates to true or false? So this is when we type if and then open the parentheses. What is expected inside of those parentheses? And the answer is both A and C. Now I always say the if statement is after an expression that evaluates to true or false. But if you've tried this yourself or simply watched the lessons, you will notice we can also simply pass true or false, the literal values of true or false, because the literal value evaluates to true or false. So it's both of these. A code block is the thing that comes after the parentheses, the curly braces. It's not the thing inside of parentheses. Next up, will the second if statement in this code run? So look at it very carefully. Look at where your brackets are, your parentheses are. Would this code run the second if statement? As in the code inside of the curly braces of the second if. And the answer is yes. The first if statement is true. So it goes inside of its code block curly braces. And then the second if statement is also true and it goes inside of those. It's important to be able to view code outside of the editor in a single line as well, because if you understand the code, you should be able to interpret it no matter how it looks and without the white spaces. Next up, will the second if statement run in this code? So again, look at your parentheses, look at your curly braces, look at the values, make sure you understand this code and what would run, and let me know your answer. And the answer here is yes, it would run. So if you look carefully, the first if statement evaluates to false, which means that the code inside of the curly braces does not run. However, the second if statement comes after the first if statement. It isn't inside of the code block of the first if statement. So this is equivalent to having two if statements one after the other. The second if statement is true and so would run. So again, it's important to keep an eye out for where curly braces are and what that means for your code. Next up, is this code valid? So it's a fairly simple piece of code, but take a look at it carefully and let me know your answer. And the answer is no. It's not valid code because an else statement must always follow an if or else statement. If you look carefully, this else statement is inside of an if statement. So it doesn't come after it. There is nothing for this else statement to know when to run. An else statement will run if all the other if and elses fail. But in this case, the else is inside of an if. So effectively, it knows nothing about the if above it. If we were to place the else outside of the curly braces of the if, then it would be valid code. Will the else code run here? So we have if true, curly braces, else if true, curly braces. Will the code run that is inside of the if else curly braces? And the answer is no. The reason being, as we saw, if an if statement evaluates to true above an if else statement, the if else statement is never executed. The check of if the if else statement is true is never even run. That is because the point of ifs and if elses is to check one by one until the first valid true evaluation happens and then discard all of the other else if checks. So because the first if check is true, the code inside the curly braces would run. 
and the Alsiv would never get a chance to run. A bit more difficult question now. When should we prefer an if-else statement over using an if-if statement? If both statements can never be both true, it doesn't matter, you can use whichever you like, or if both statements can be true. So the very similar statements here, and it's a difficult one, but think about it. And the answer is, if both statements can never be true. As we mentioned, when we use ifs and else statements, if the first if statement is false, the second else won't run. If we have two ifs in a row, it's the same as simply having two completely separate ifs that are nothing to do with each other, so both will always be evaluated regardless of the other. Therefore, if both statements can never be true, as in the answer A, then we should prefer if else over if if, otherwise the second if will always run, consuming CPU time, memory, and it makes invalid code. Second to last question now. What is the difference between else and if else? Else has to come after an if. Else if has to have an expression. Or else has to have an expression. So again, read the question carefully, read the answers carefully, and let me know your answer. And the answer is, else if has to have an expression. The answer A, some of you probably answered, or maybe A and B, but answer A says else has to come after an if. That is true, but it's not the difference between else and if else. They both have to come after an if or if else. So it's not the difference between two else statements. Else has to have an expression is also invalid. It's else if that must have an expression. So the only valid answer here is B. So I'm expecting some of you got that wrong, but again, pay attention to the question and the answer. And the final question, when would you use an else statement? Is it when you want to do something after an if statement? Is it to catch anything not caught by the previous if else statements? Or would you never want to use an else statement? So think on this one, let me know your answer and hopefully you'll get this last one right. And the answer is B. It's used to catch anything not caught by the previous if-else statements. Now A you might think was right, that when you want to do something after an if statement, however, the else will only run if the if statement is false. So it's not when you want to do something after if. If that was the case, you simply wouldn't provide the keyword else, you'd just write code after the if. The else statement would only run if the if statement failed. So the main reason of else, as we saw with the matrix test, was to simply catch all the outside answers we are not expecting and do something else. So hopefully you realize the complexity in ifs and elses and curly braces, and you go back and keep testing yourself and trying yourself until you're comfortable with how the code is formatted and how the curly braces work and the logics of if else work. They seem really simple and people think they know if and else statements, yet I'm betting even experienced developers will get answers wrong on this test. It just shows that you have to pay close attention to code and there is a lot to pay attention to with the syntax of the language.